By the end of this video, you'll be able to compare fractions when the numerators or denominators are the same. Let's start with common denominators, and that simply means you have fractions that have the same denominator. In a fraction, the numerator tells you how many parts you have. The denominator tells you how many parts make up the whole. But when we're comparing fractions, I want you to do something. I want you to think of the denominator as a unit of measurement. So just like how we have uh, inches or feet or hours, I want you to think of denominators as a unit of measurement. It's gonna make comparing fractions a little bit easier. Watch what I mean. Right now we have common denominators, which means both of the denominators are the same. When you have two units of measurement that are the same and you're comparing them, it's gonna be easy. Which is longer, three inches or two inches? They're both inches, right? Which means we just need to know that three is more than two. Same thing here, we have three fourths and two fourths. They're both fourths, right? So we just need to know that three is more than two. Three fourths is greater than two fourths. Common numerators are a little bit different. Again, as we mentioned before, the numerator tells you how many parts you have, but the denominator tells you how many parts make up the whole. But for this video, we're just gonna pretend. We're gonna imagine that the denominator tells you a unit of measurement. Now, in this situation, you have the same number of parts, but your unit of measurement is different. So for example, that's like comparing two hours to two minutes. You see, we both they both have two parts, two and two, but this time our unit is different. So in this situation, you just go with the larger unit. Two hours, well, that's way more than two minutes. Two years, well, that's way more than two days. What about two thirds and two eighths? Well, you just gotta know which one's larger. Just like how we had to know hours larger than minutes, thirds are larger than eighths. So that means two thirds is greater than two eighths. All right, hey, 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 calm down, calm down. You might think that, oh wait, eight is the larger number, so that fraction should be bigger. Well, it is true that the digit eight is larger than the digit three, but remember, denominators tell you the number of parts that make up the whole. So the larger the denominator is, the more parts that it's broken into, which means each part is gonna be smaller. You see how the thirds, it's just three of them, so they're a lot larger. The eights, however, they're more parts, which means each part is small. Here we have common numerators. We have one of each. So it really just comes down to which one's bigger, a half or a fourth. I have one of both of them, so which one's larger? One half is in fact greater than one fourth because each of those halves is bigger than each of those fourths. Pretend our denominator is our unit. In this situation, both of the units are the same. We have inches and inches, they're the same unit. Now we just gotta look at which one has more parts. I have five twelfths and eight twelfths. Well, obviously eight twelfths is gonna be more than five twelfths. It's like saying eight inches is more than five inches. And there's my model to prove it in case you weren't sure. Remember, our denominator is like a unit, and so this we see we have different denominators, so different units, like hours and minutes. So if you have three of each, three hours is obviously longer than three minutes, so you just need to know which of these denominators is greater. Three eighths is bigger than three twelfths because each of those eighths is larger than each of those twelfths. Remember, big denominators mean smaller parts. What about now? Again, denominators are like units, and so we have fourths and fourths. The units are the same. That's like comparing grams to grams. Nice. So which one's greater? Five grams or seven grams? Seven grams, which means seven fourths is greater than five fourths. You would read this as five fourths is less than seven fourths. Just a reminder, we've been comparing common denominators when the denominators are the same, and then common numerators when the numerator is the same. Our strategy works in these situations. However, when the numerator and the denominator are both different, you're gonna need a different strategy, which we will cover in a different video.